So the first thing that I wanted to talk about is uh, Quinn69. He's, uh, he's a streamer. I'm sure that a lot of people will be aware of the situation that happened with Quinn. I'm not going to be pulling up like all kinds of different clips because we're doing this live on stream and I don't feel like sorting through clips and whatnot. But um, Quinn decided to try out Final Fantasy XIV. And he didn't like it. And that's fine. That is perfectly fine. But he did... He did do a couple of things that the Final Fantasy XIV community was not okay with. This this is actually what I thought was eventually going to happen with uh, Asmongold. I'm be real. I thought that this was going to be something that would eventually happen with Asmongold. Now, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. I think that some people not liking Final Fantasy XIV is actually a good thing. I think this is a good thing because, like I always like to say, if you make a game that is for everyone, you eventually end up making a game that is for no one because you're trying to get literally everybody into your game and, you know, you kind of start losing track of the reason people started playing your game to begin with. So I'm actually pretty okay with the fact that Quinn didn't like it. And I think it's fine if he didn't like it. And I don't think he should have to, like, you know, take a bunch of crap for not liking the game. That's fine. I also think that he was wrong in some of the things that he said. Neither here nor there. Don't really care that much about it. So, uh, what happened with Quinn is that he started playing the game. And if you see here, he says, I read all the lore for the first three days, even in character. I don't know if this, did he stream the game for three days? I don't know if this was how long he streamed it for. I kind of feel like the Quinn situation to me was like over the course of a day, like all of a sudden one day I just see a bunch of stuff about how everybody hates Quinn 69 or whatever for, uh, for him not enjoying the game. It's like he says he did read the lore, but he didn't like it. He got bored. He was going to quit the game because he was bored. Now, I wanted to point something out very important here. And this is something that uh, I think is important for people to know if they want to play 14. Once again, I want to make sure people understand. Whenever I, whenever I point stuff like this out, this is suggestions. Because, like, look, you play games however you want to play games. None of my business. You play games, you want to boost, boost. I don't care. I'm not going to judge people for boosting. Do not care one iota. Okay, so what I'm saying here is advice more than anything. Ketnet, thank you very much for being Grilsky and Kandesson for 11 months. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. So, um, and the thing that I wanted to bring up is the fact that when you're playing Final Fantasy, I kind of feel like the, the vibe that Quinn went into this, because of the fact that he got bored with it so fast, the vibe that I get from the stuff that I've seen so far is that Quinn wanted to get to that point where, you know, like say for instance, if you're playing World of Warcraft, Quinn wanted to get the Shadowlands. He wanted to get to the equivalent of Shadowlands in Final Fantasy XIV. So he wanted to get the Shadowbringers. He wanted to get there fast. That's the vibe that I'm getting for the stuff that happened because he got bored so quickly of the game, right? And in my opinion, that is not the most healthy way to play Final Fantasy XIV. And why? Why? Let me explain why. The reasoning why is because unlike something like, um, you know, World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy XIV, and I've said this, probably some people have heard me say this, Final Fantasy XIV does not make its content obsolete just because it's old content. Now, those of you who have been following the uh, Asmongold situation, You'll know that Asmongold's been doing minimum item level extreme trials, minimum item level coils of Bahamut, which is impressive. Like, listen, you guys, there's, I didn't do minimum item level extreme trials. I didn't do minimum. I got carried through coils of Bahamut because I wanted to see the story. Okay. I want, I wanted to do that, but I couldn't because I didn't have enough people. Like when I went to do coils of Bahamut, I think it was me and like three or four other people. We went to do coils. So I couldn't even get enough people to fill a party. And when I was playing through the game, the game was not nearly as popular as it is right now. So I couldn't even just get like an organic party to go through coils. It was just, you know, 
It just wasn't a thing that I was able to do. Asmongol, on the other hand, beat that thing, minimum item level, all, all that. And it was, if you go and you watch the videos of that, it's as engaging as any raid that you go and watch, right? So that is content from like 2013. That's content from 2013. Okay, Coils of Bahamut. Actually, I don't know if it's 13, 14, I don't know, around there, right? So as you can see, that is a clear indication that the, you know, the content that you have in Final Fantasy XIV, even if it's just Realm Reborn, even if you're not already at Shadowbringers, the content is relevant and it is fun. So long as you're able to, you know, get a party to do it. You don't have to do like minimum item level extreme trials or whatever. Just doing regular trials is fun. And even just getting a friend to go through... Uh, you know, Coils, just to see the story of Coils is important. I've always said, if you finish Realm Reborn, if you can't get someone to go through Coils with you, you should watch the cinematic on YouTube at least to get the context of the story. Um, you guys are saying that Asmon really enjoyed the, the, the Coils story. That's because the Coils story is super important to actually understand what happened in Realm Reborn. So, you know... That's one of the reasons why I'm like, you know, if you're going to play 14, don't think of it as we need to get to Shadowbringers. Because I kind of feel like that's the energy that a lot of people are bringing in. Because I've, just looking through my comment sections, I see constantly people saying, oh, it's so boring. I can't wait to, like, get to Heaven's Word. I can't wait to, like, get to the part where it gets good. And it's like, I feel like a lot of those people are going to be in for A Root Awakening, which is like, yes, it does get good. But the essence of what the gameplay is is still fairly similar to what you're experiencing in, in Realm Reborn. It's still about doing the quests, reading the text, you know, immersing yourself in the lore. And that's why I think it's very important for people to understand that you should take your time. You should take your time. It's like if you're not interested in taking your time and you want to boost, go ahead and boost to whatever you want. But in my opinion, the better way to actually enjoy the game is just take your time. Like, look, when I did it, I went through Realm Reborn, then I did all the trials, didn't do it in, ex in Extreme, whatever. But, you know, I did all the trials because I wanted to see all the content, did all the raids, then went to Heaven's Word, did all the stuff there, all the trials, all the raids, including the Alliance raids, which was a pain because not enough people were queuing for the Alliance raids during Heaven's Word. Went to Stormblood, did the same thing, all the trials, all of the raids, and then eventually went to Shadowbringers and did the same thing. And it took me a long time to get through all that. A very long time. But I've enjoyed all of it. You want to know why? Because I wasn't like in that rush. Like, oh, I need to get the Shadow... I can't. I need, I need Shadowbringers now. Quick, fast, go, go. You know? So anyways, Quentin got to the point where he was just like, okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm going to quit this game or I'm going to boost. So he boosted. The problem was that he boosted and then he wanted to go do raids but he hadn't had the time to learn because you see unlike world of warcraft where in my opinion there really isn't as much of a learning period for raids so whenever you want to go do raids your average player what you're going to do is you're going to look for guides you're going to end up looking like for a guide or something very few people walk into a raid with a team and go like okay guys let's try to figure this out no no no, no. most people in was like okay let's go watch the the guide and formula to strategy and boom go right and in 14 if you play through these raids like i did you get introduced to several mechanics not all of them because you know sometimes they bring out new mechanics or not but like you at least get introduced to the concept of how the um the telegraph markers work on 14 which is something that from the footage that i've seen of quinn he never really understood how the telegraph markers worked because he was doing the same mistake that i was doing when I started playing, which was, you know, you have your telegraph markers and you see them and you don't instantly move out of them because you're going to wait for the spell effect to come in. You're like, okay, so when the spell effect come in, when the marker goes away, that's when I got to dodge because the spell effect is coming in. That's the mentality that I brought into 17. So I would stay in the markers until the very last second and then I would leave and then I would get hit. And it's like, why am I getting hit? Why am I getting punished? This is, something's wrong. That's because the way the markers work... In Final Fantasy XIV, and this hopefully will help people that don't understand, is like if you're sitting in the marker, 
when the marker disappears, you're getting hit. So you have to exit out of the marker before the marker disappears. That's how it works in 14. And this is like an adjustment for people that are coming over from WoW or any other MMO, really, because I haven't really seen MMOs that do stuff like 14 does. Pretty much any other MMO, if, you watch the, if you're used to watching like a Telegraph, the Telegraphs just work differently in 14. So just be aware, the way that it works is if your character is sitting on it, the second it disappears, you're getting hit. So move out instantly. So yeah, just out of curiosity, did Quinn actually raid in WoW? I would assume so, because he seemed interested in doing the raids in 14, so I would expect that. But um, yeah, you know, but the thing is, if you're going to skip through the story, there, there's examples of people who skipped and love the game still. I want you to understand, like Dark Hero says, Joe Cat is an example of that. I don't know. I don't know what Joe Cat's story is with 14, but like, I know that for instance, um, Chris from Work the Game, uh, Brian's friend, he skipped the story initially and he got really into the game. And I think then he went back and did the story. Uh, Lynx Camelli skipped the story and he also loves the game. So there's, there's good, good examples of that. The problem is if you skip the story and you skip, you know, doing some of these earlier raids like I did, you're not going to be aware of all the mechanics that they do during these raids and you're going to be constantly be getting hit with mechanics. It's, it's just going to happen because you don't know what's happening. You've never seen it before, so you don't know how to react to it. But that's essentially what happened. He went through and he boosted and then he got like completely destroyed in the raids and, you know, whatever. But yeah, there's a, a bunch of like stuff going on here. With him interacting with Co-Carnage as well, which Co-Carnage is the exact opposite. He's been really enjoying the game. Asmogol has been really enjoying the game. I think that the important thing here is, look, Final Fantasy XIV is not going to be for everyone. and that, That's fine. That's actually good because it means that they're still focused on their core audience. And if people enjoy it, they enjoy it. If people don't enjoy it, they don't enjoy it. And just there's no need to be rude about it. Did he go about it the wrong way? Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Maybe it doesn't friggin' matter. Don't even worry about it. It's whatever. It really is whatever. Uh, I just figured I'd use that as, as, as a way to talk about that. In my opinion, it's not just about getting the Shadowbringers. It's about enjoying your journey along the way. And that's one of the things that's really surprised me about Asmund. The fact that he's doing like all of these raids and minimum item level. And yeah, that's, that's kind of like the way that I would advise people to experience it. I mean, obviously not everyone is going to be able to have like a party to do minimum item level. Even though... There's a lot more people playing the game now than when I started playing, so there might just be a shot at doing that. But just like, seriously, take your time with it and enjoy. Even Quentin's own mods berated him for the way that he was judging the game. I get it. I get it. It's like, it's, sometimes it's rough. You see some, like, I, I too get upset whenever someone starts trash talking Rise. I mean, we've all seen it. We've all been there before. But even I should just like rise up above it and be like, no, don't, it's whatever. Okay, you guys don't like rise, it's not for you. Whatever. Goodbye. Go, go play something else. You know? The thing is, everyone who plays the game tells you what to expect with Realm Reborn. I liked Realm Reborn! I did! I didn't think it was that bad! <laughs> I don't, I don't know... <laughs> And I, and I did the what is considered the bad Realm Reborn, which was before they streamlined it a little bit. Like, were there some quests that were obnoxious? Yeah, the stuff before Titan was atrocious. The stuff before Titan was really, really obnoxious, and it, it kind of upset me a little bit. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's whatever, you know? I thought Realm Reborn was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. So, you know, 